I'm just sort of softening this up, if you will, so I can put it between uh, two, uh, two tree trunks to snap it off. Um, normally, like, you know, just uh, bucking it on the ground. Uh, you got to be careful swinging around like this. And you got to make sure, too, that sometimes it doesn't break up top and uh, the top of the tree comes back on you. So uh, never be in a hurry to uh, be using your axe. And these are just methods like I've talked about before. Simple and easy. This is a nice piece of maple here. Three chops on something that thick. Uh, you know, traditionally, this is why uh, northern bushmen and people up north generally opt for a uh, an axe of some sort and if it is a uh, if it is a knife it's usually on the heavier side it's uh, usually not machete like in style well <clears throat> it ended up chopping real nice and was easy to process so there's no need to uh, uh, you know break it off in the tree but by uh, having the limb in this direction here we can uh, you know, uh, chop it safely. I'm not chopping in between my legs, uh, you know, uh, it, at, at this angle here. I mean, you can, but you gotta make sure it's always best to keep the handle lower or uh, definitely not above parallel with the bit of your ax. But usually, this right here to me is the safest. If I break through, it's in that direction. See what I'm saying? So, uh, like I said, uh, never ever be in a hurry to use uh, your axe because that is when it most likely uh, is going to bite you somehow. And something like this here, you know, a uh, two and three quarter pound head, oh uh, man, just the weight of it uh, can shatter bone, let alone uh, a swing with any type of power behind it. Uh, Double bit cruiser. I mean, you got to be uh, uh, careful with 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 the whole design. You got two bits that you got to look after when you're walking around and moving. And uh, if you fall uh, or if you start to fall, throw that axe. I've had to do that a couple times. Um, you slip just a little bit. Don't wait. Get rid of that axe. Um, you know, toss it in the snow beside you. But you definitely got to be careful with with a double bit like this. Uh, especially, um, you know, if you're around little ones because they may tend to walk, you can't really cover that bit too much. So in general, uh, you know, I like to leave it a little on the long side so I can just drop it off uh, into the ground if I, if I have to at not a far height um, to do whatever I've got to do. But, uh, all right, well, we got more maple to throw on the fire and uh, the garlic has been added to the uh, to the broth, it's a bone broth, and the uh, chicken has been added. Um, I added the chicken whole. Uh, it's just a chicken breast. Excuse me. Uh, I added it whole in there, uh, and uh, you know, some just slice it up with whoever wants, and usually put a nice chunk of chicken in there and uh, eat it how you like. Uh, Many times it's also easier to doing that out in the woods. Uh, sometimes the less you have to process, um, you know, on a small cutting board and things like that, the easier. Once you get things on your plate and in your lap or, or however you're eating it, uh, it's usually easier to uh, portion up like that. At that point, that chicken will be so tender, uh, it, it'll just push apart with the uh, fork. Thanks for watching. Take care.